all sleep again. Don't even think about it. Thinking about it just makes you mad. Now we're cold. Cheers, God. So much for breastfeeding mothers enjoying increased immunity. That's medical fact number 78 that turns out to be complete and utter bollocks. Melted aluminium. <laughs> well, at lunchtime, I thought I'd warm up a pan of soup, so I lit the hob and I put on the pan, only I unfortunately forgot to actually put the soup in the pan. And then his lordship got the ump, so I slung him in the papoose and took him for a walk, forgetting I'd put the pan on. So when we came home, the cooker was sort of coated in cascading globules of molten aluminium. Looked like a Salvador Dali painting. You can still see it. I haven't cleaned it up yet. Jesus. You've got to be more careful. <laughs> well, I'm as careful as a woman with no remaining brain can be. How come you're so late? Graham Babbage summoned us all to a team meeting about IT. Tried your mobile. You had it on divert. I don't know, two and a half hours of people whinging about internet access. Total nightmare. Oh, and guess what? I've been given the job of updating the company's website. Lucky me. Don't even know why we've got a website and nobody bloody visits it. Total sodding waste of time and money. Did you tell Babbage all that? Yes, I did, actually. Well, I didn't put it quite as strongly as that. And what was his reaction? Well, he didn't agree, obviously. I think he likes people who stand up to him. Unless they push it. And he fires them. I've got a bit behind with the laundry. No problem. Um, Paul? Yeah? Paul, we need to talk. Go on. I'm frightened I might be turning mental again. What's really frightening me, and I mean really frightening me, is that I keep having unkind thoughts. Well, that's sort of normal. You know, a new baby can push you to unkind thoughts. They're about you. Well, I see. What kind of thoughts? Well, the usual, you know. Pictures in my head, and full surround technicolour. You and another woman, or women. And the truly awful thing is, a part of me knows, can see what's happening, and I can't seem to do anything about it, and then I feel so shamed and pathetic. But what you have to understand, Paul, the absolutely crucial thing is that you are always Divert. Well, yeah, but then Graham. Oh, for... What if that was important? It's a quarter to eleven, Paul. Just how important can it be? I mean, how many matters of life and death are involved in public relations? It's not exactly heart surgery. You don't get a vehicle with a flashing light and a siren and the words PR consultant spelt backwards across it. That's more like it. Yeah, well, it's ridiculous. Graham Babbage needs to get a life. Oh, he's not so bad, love. He's very bright and well, charismatic. You know. He knows what he wants and he goes for it. Quite envy him, really. 
Everything must seem so simple. Yeah, well, selfishness is simple. I was about to tell you something crucial. Oh, I'm sorry, love. What was it? Well, it's just... When I go into one of my tailspins, what is important is that you are... What was that? Oh, I don't believe it. He's fucking texting you now. Please call and book. Right. Please piss off, winker. Hey. I hate this thing. It's your jailer. Oh, come on, love. Sorry. He has to go. Sarah, where are you going with that? Sarah! Oh, what the hell are you doing? Give me my phone back. I think you might have damaged this. Good. I never got to tell you the crucial thing. I, uh, what was it? No matter how I might seem, you know, mentally, you must be totally 100% honest with me at all times. All right. Well, I am. Is that right? Yes. I think you've been lying to me. No, I haven't. Haven't you? Oh, God, I hate this kind of conversation. What? Look, it's impossible to convince someone who thinks you're lying that you're not lying, because all you can say is, I'm not lying, and that just makes you sound defensive. I just want you to be honest with me. All right, then, enlighten me. What is it that I'm supposed to be lying about? About her. I recognise her number. Sarah. These past few weeks, whenever I've said I'm worried about my marbles, you've said it's just post-baby blues. You're not worried in the slightest. And yet you tear up the number of my psychiatrist. You rang her, didn't you? You lied. You are worried. I just wanted to pick her brains, that's all. And she said things will start to normalise once you start getting some sleep. And then once you're not breastfeeding, if necessary, then... I'm not going back on medication. Then we can review things. Just review them, that's all. Oh, come on, try to get some sleep. Things always look worse when you're tired. There's nothing else you want to tell me about, is there? No. If you did decide to go with another woman, under the circumstances, I would understand. No, you wouldn't. You'd kill me and hide my body in the shed. Yeah, but in an understanding way. <laughs>